I am not sure what is inside this box. Today is one of those days where I uh, picked up a bunch of stuff and some of it got delayed in shipping and some of it made it and I'm not quite sure who this is from. So these are all things that I purchased, by the way. These are not, uh, not freebies that were sent to me or anything like that. Um, I purchased from a few retailers that I'm not completely uh, used to buying from. Oh, so we have a Spyderco here, and uh, which is a good thing that the from address doesn't say such and such knives because that is a red flag for people to steal your crap. So uh, I wasn't sure what these are, but now I do know what these are. I've got another crew carta, and we've got some uh, scales from Fly Flytanium for my paramilitary two. I think these are going to be going on this bad boy right here. I think I'm going to take the blurple off of this and throw these contoured black linen micarta. I believe these were the linen micarta. Let's double check here in case you wanted to know. Lotus paramilitary two scales. Yep, black linen micarta. These are going to look amazing, I think, I hope. That's what I'm shooting for. And of course, when you get oil on them, they are going to darken up nicely. Um, and this is going to be a light weight cutter supreme in uh, s110v so i really like this one um, i don't love the blurple scales though so wanted to get something different so that's going to be cool set that aside for later of course we got the flytanium sticker i didn't see the fly in here though did i not get a fly i'm going to be sending a strongly worded email because i did not get a uh did not get a fly in here <laughs> and then this one uh what do we got there what is that Sticker, Spyderco sticker. That's a pretty cool sticker. I like that. Got another crew carta, but this is the new-ish military two. I keep wanting to say paramilitary two. This is the military two. So they've taken the, ooh, that's nice. They've taken the old military with the liner lock and then the frame locks, and they have upgraded it to the compression lock in the back there which is an excellent, excellent thing, except it should have happened like 10 years ago. I don't know why this took so long. This is probably the worst case of, I don't want to say too little, too late. That's a little harsh, but this is one of the stronger cases of why did it take so long to make this happen? One of the biggest complaints with the old uh, military, I keep wanting to say paramilitary, the old military is the tip down only carry that it had due to how it was configured. Um, and everybody thought, like, why don't they do the compression lock? Like, it has been on the super popular paramilitary too. Like, outstandingly popular. This compression lock, this thing is a little uh, little stiff. This compression lock is um, much beloved. And so why they took so long to uh, put that on the military here, the big boy, the big brother, nobody knows for sure. Uh, it took forever, and even after they announced that they were doing this, it seemed like it took longer than it should have to actually come to fruition. So, uh, very, very cool. I wish it came out earlier, but uh, really love the military. It's one of my favorite uh, designs from Spyderco. Always has been, and I think I like it even more now with this nice crew carta, uh, which is going to darken up and look kind of like this, which looks even more amazing. Very impressed with how this canvas micarta starts looking when it gets a little dirty. I don't know if it's going to get to a point where it's just solid dark, uh, maybe. What I'm hoping is that it continues to somewhat clean off on the flats and then you get kind of these different colors. But we'll see how this crew carta kind of changes color. Uh, but right now, I am super stoked to have both of these in my collection. Both of these are in crew wear, which is a great, great steal. Fun fact that I didn't really know about. Um, I'm not a. I'm not what you would call a steel snob. I like to get an appropriate steel for what I'm paying. Um, that's about it. You know, I I'm fine with S30V, especially if it's heat treated well. But if I'm paying extra for like a sprint run, then yeah, I want to have fancy steels. Uh, but one thing I didn't realize with like crew wear is how old it is. I think it came out in like 1994. I always assumed it was a newer-ish steel because I don't recall hearing about it back in the 2000s. Um, but apparently it was around. So uh, crew wear, PD-1, Z-wear, all of these steels were roughly around the same time, like mid-90s, early 90s. 
Um, and they've been around for a long time. I'm only now kind of really getting some experience with some of them. I don't know if your, your story is the same, but let me know down below. Do you have experience with the uh, military too? Do you like it? And do you agree with me that it's an excellent thing that should have happened years and years and years ago? Comment down below. Appreciate all of you. Take care. Have a good day. I'll talk to you later.